Hello everybody, it's me, Sam, Kyo, Torrent, and Ryan from Wooper Gaming, and today we're going to be showing you the World Guard plugin showcase. So this won't be as in-depth as the plugin uh, guide, but we're just going to go over a few basic commands that will be nice and easy to understand, and we're going to go over the region commands and whatnot. So, here we have a world, and we're going to use this world to demonstrate how to protect regions and stuff. So the first thing we want to do is select a region. Now you use this using world edit. So the default item in world edit is the wooden axe. So you left click the first location. So I'm going to do it from here. Right click the second location. So here. And then I'm going to expand this upwards a bit. So slash slash slash, slash expand. Uh, it's about three blocks or four up. And now I've expanded this region upwards. So now I want to uh, define this as a region. So I do region define the ID. So let's just call this house. Uh, and then let's call, it, let's call it, yeah, house. Enter. And now we've made this region a house. Right, so if I try breaking into it, have you set flags yet? Uh, no, I haven't set flags. Oh, I don't have permission for this area. So I cannot break into this area. What it has by default anyone who's not an owner or a member of this region will not be able to break any blocks so Torrent's not a uh, member of this region so and I'm not an op either so I cannot break any of these blocks I'm breaking them and it sends me a message saying you don't have permission for this area in red text and obviously so I cannot break it. So let's give you the ownership of that so I do region add owner the region name which was house and then the play name so X Torrent. so now I've updated you as the owner you should be able to edit and there you go, I can so break the box. Can. So Gosh. that's how that works. Uh, we can also add members a similar way, except of, instead of putting owner, we put add member. And the only difference is uh, members can't add members, only owners can. They can't set flags, etc. They can't set flags and stuff. Yep. So that's the basic regions. You can add flags to it. Uh, I'll just show you that. So you do region, flag, or F. The region names so house, and then you can have uh, any flag you like. There's loads of flags, things like greetings, uh, farewell, TNT usage, mobs, PvP and stuff. So that, let's have greeting as that's nice and easy to do. So greeting and then the message. So welcome to the house. <laughs> so now when we walk in. Oh, it says welcome to the house in blue text. It will say welcome to the house. And we can also set a farewell flag and that will set the message on the way out. If you want to see more about flags, check out the in-depth guide. But that's just a basic flag demonstration. Um, some other things. There are some extra commands that comes with uh, World Guard. There is stop fire. So let's just fire some fire. So here we have uh, a lot of fire here in front of this house. We do stop fire. Fire spread is globally disabled for World by me. So if there was say, a wood block here, this would normally catch a light and would spread everything, every fire everywhere. So by doing stop fire, we stop the fire from spreading onto this block. And we can also allow fire, but it allow fire like that. I would be wary of that command though, because because of the nature of the name, if you type stop and then not fire, obviously it would stop your server now. Yes. Well, there's actually a command called stop lag. And this will remove all the entities, things like mobs and stuff. Uh, it will disable uh, oh. water from flowing. Wow, oh, I didn't know about that. Flowing. Awesome. And uh, it's just a little command. So if you find it, you're lagging or something, then uh, you can stop the lag. And to remove it, you stop lag space hyphen C. And then it will make the lag come back again. If that <laughs> makes sense. But yeah. Uh, so that's that pretty much. So that concludes today's showcase. Well, I would say World Guard does uh, require World Edit for the point selection. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to have it installed. You can use the library, I think, is it called, Sam? Uh, no, you can just put it in your root directory. All right, yeah. And you don't have to have it installed. But if you want to use the region commands, you will have to have it installed. Indeed. So there you go. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. As we've been me, Sam Kyo, Torrent, and Ryan from Wolf Gaming, signing out.
So remember to check the description and the annotations on screen for the lengthy in detail guide on flags and the other commands for Worldguard that Samco has made. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you guys later.